ain't the one for me You ain't got shit I need Want me to take my time with you Maybe I'm not your speed Maybe I'm not your league You ain't even got no cheese Maybe I'm just too G for you Maybe I'm just too street I can even roll in peace Everybody notice me Okay, to start this wig off, I'm going to be taking my wig cap that I purchased from the beauty supply store. It's about $3 and some change. And I'm going to be using my foam head. Do not talk about her. She has been through hell and back and she's still hanging in there. So I'm just going to place that on my foam head. And then I'm going to take my closure that I already bleached. If you guys want to see a video about how I bleached my closures, just let me know. And yes, I made a mistake and left it on too long and it kind of got on some of the roots but i'm going to fix that in the end so i'm just going to place that on the edge of the dome cap and i'm going to be taking my t-pins and i'm going to be putting those on the outside of the closure to where i want to sew it down so i can keep it in place so it wouldn't move while i'm sewing After I pin down my closure, now I'm going to start sewing it down. So I'm not going to go through the elastic. I'm going to go to the layer right above the elastic and go under the closure and through. And I'm going to wrap that around three times. And I let my thread get tangled. So I'm just going to untangle my thread here. And I'm just going to do that same step once again because that's how I secure the beginning of anything that I start sewing down. Now, this part, I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. I'm not going to go through the elastic. I'm going to go on the layer right above the elastic. So, I'm going to go under, wrap it around twice, and pull. And this part should be a little more easier to see. And it's not going to get tangled since I learned my lesson the first time. So, I'm just going to do this all the way around the closure until the closure is secure. This my jam, nigga. This my jam, nigga. This my jam, nigga.
Okay, now I'm going to take the 14 inch bundle and I'm going to start with that and I'm just going to start it off like I started my closure with the go under technique and wrap it around twice and I'm going to form a knot so the beginning of the bundle doesn't move or shift or loosen up and stuff like that. So that's basically what I'm doing now. I actually put two knots in it just to make it more secure and I'm just going to go back and forth with this bundle at the bottom. This my jam, nigga. This my jam, nigga. Okay, as you guys can see, I did not go all the way to the closure. I stopped the bundles a little bit more than halfway. So right now I'm just going to go back and forth and just fill in the middle and make sure I do not go any further up with those bundles because I'm going to need that open space for when I get to the top and make those bundles close enough so I don't have any gaps once I want to close up that gap between the closure and the actual bundles. So when you see that the remainder of your thread is getting too short for you to continue to thread, 
you're going to basically finish it off. And what I mean by that is you're going to go under and you're going to wrap that thread around the needle twice and you're going to pull it and then form a knot just like I did when I started it off. So I finally made it to the top and I'm starting off with my final bundle which is the 10 inch bundle and basically I'm doing the same thing like I did when I first started this unit. I'm wrapping it around making a knot and things of that nature and as you can see I'm getting closer and closer to the closure and all you're doing here is you're just going to go back and forth in a U shape since that's how your how a closure typically is. is in the form of a U shape, so you're just gonna go back and forth until you get as close as you can. And Now you just want to cut the excess dome cap that's right under your lace so it can look more natural and make sure you leave some space between the actual thread and where you're cutting so your thread doesn't come loose as you wear your unit later on. And then after this, I just simply styled and personalized this whole unit and cut off the excess lace. And this will be the conclusion to this video. If you enjoyed, can you give this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.